Good morning to everyone. Today, let us see Feminity, Narrative and Psychoanalysis, a critical text written by Juliet Mitchell. Juliet Mitchell is a contemporary British psychoanalyst, socialist, feminist and author. Feminity, Narrative and Psychoanalysis is the transcript of a lecture delivered in a conference on narrative held in Australia in 1972. The lecture brings together English literature, politics, psychoanalysis and feminism. What does the critical text talk about? It describes the progression of women as writers. Juliet Mitchell offers her views on the history of the development of novel as well as the role of women writers within the literary world. The psychoanalyst is compared with that of the novelist. Juliet Mitchell states that psychoanalysis is a talking cure. What happens in psychoanalysis is a kind of storytelling where the patient recounts certain incidents affecting his or her psyche. The psychoanalyst is then able to offer a solution to the incident and for that both of them need language to express. Psychoanalysis, like writing novels, is a process of telling and retelling stories. In the words of Juliet Mitchell, roughly speaking, the novel starts with the autobiographies written by women in the 17th century there are several famous men novelists, but the vast majority of early novels were written by large numbers of women. These writers were trying to establish what critics today call the subject in process. What they were trying to do was to create a history from a state of flux, a flux in which they were feeling themselves in the process of becoming women within a New Bajua Society. Language is phallocentric. Juliet Mitchell says that when the woman novelist writes from within the masculine world, she is realizing the importance of bisexuality. She says that is the hysterics voice which is the woman's masculine language. One has to speak masculinely in a phallocentric world Talking about feminine experience, it is both simultaneously the woman novelist's refusal of the woman's world. She is, after all, a novelist and her construction from within the masculine world of that woman's world. The analyzed listens through an association, something intrudes, disrupts, offers the anarchist carnival back into that history the story won't quite do and so the process starts again. The carnival referred to here is the Bakhtinian notion of deception. Bakhtin states that in every level of society, deception is at play where there, there are multiple levels of power and resistance at work. These forces of deception are what allow people in a society to put on masks and play certain roles. Because of this deceptive nature of communication, any form of action in society is never constant. Juliet Mitchell says, What can you do but disrupt a history and recreate, is, recreate it as another? The only two ways left for a woman to find a vent for her inner realm is either to write using masculine language or to write as the historic which is the combination of both. For her, there is no women's voice but the historic voice which is the women's masculine language. She has to speak masculinely in such a phallocentric way. Juliet Mitchell says, Hysteria is the woman's simultaneous acceptance and refusal of the organization of sexuality under patriarchal capitalism. It touches, therefore, on the importance of bisexuality. Juliet Mitchell illustrates an effective alternative symbolic universe by using the example of Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. The novel is clearly a critic of the symbolic 
but is far more effective because it works within a male oriented language bronte published wuthering heights under male pseudonym ellis bell which gave her work a better platform to criticize the male dominated society wuthering heights is a story filled with the intense emotions where myriad interpretations are possible for juliet michel the story of catherine bears a history tenor to it even though catherine loves heathcliff she is not able to immerse herself fully into the pleasure of that relationship due to the restrictions imposed by the patriarchy mr earnsha introduced heathcliff to her as a brother which makes him severed from her as a lover the gender roles drawn by the society forces her to marry edgar linton but the historic tradition to which bronte belongs makes her question the patriarchal system through the denial of that relationship between catherine and edgar linton by killing catherine catherine symbolically broke the incest taboo by saying i am heathcliff he is more miser than i am so the choice for women within the novel is either to survive either to survive by becoming the historic's ambiguous choice into femininity by marrying edgar linton or to go for one as an unity with the heathcliff through death by having a woman claiming desire to be a man the author is trying to offer an image of hysteria that challenges the norms of identity Juliet Mitchell offers a detailed study of the novel's characters to show how it is exemplified what she terms the historic. Juliet Mitchell touches on Freud to explain how the Oedipus complex or the pre-Oedipal contributes to the complexity of examining the role of women in the text. Juliet Mitchell ends her essay by asking a question in the process of becoming what I do not think that we can live as human subjects without in some sense taking on a history for us it is mainly the history of being men or women under bourgeois capitalism in deconstructing the history we can only construct other histories what are we in the process of becoming thank you